Hi folks, I'm Modulus. So I'm back for uh, my final uh, video on the Loon Class Acrona Plant uh, 144 scale from Takom. So I think uh, this is going to be the part 5 or the final part. And uh, I think last week I brought you the update. Uh, at that time, it wasn't painted. So I got it painted last weekend and then got it weathered uh, today. So I think uh, I'm gonna... I'm not sure if this is uh, considered done. <clears throat> I could be doing some more uh, weathering but I think uh, I'll just consider this uh, final chapter on the learn class so let me just uh, run through the plane with you so uh, this is how I got it weathered I think uh, I think it looks quite dirty and run down so i've done uh, a lot of washes uh, and also i've used uh, a lot of uh, tamiya's uh, weathering uh, master and so this is how it would look like So I think uh, the thing about this uh, on the weathering, um, I tried to follow as much as possible on the on the loon in the in the photos uh, of the real uh, Ekrana plant. And also, I noticed that the actual Ekrona plant doesn't have this, uh, the Soviet's uh, marking. So I tried to cover it up uh, with weathering and paints until it's like really almost not visible. And also, same goes for this, uh, there's supposed to be another decal here. Um, let me just show you the, one of the photos um, on my laptop. So if you look at this, uh, I don't think you can see the Soviet markings on this uh, on this photo and uh, on this one there's a little bit of that flag over there so I tried to get it close to this and you know there's a lot of uh, black worn out paints on the on the back here I think these are for radars inside so this is how I got it with it let me show you the uh, the bottom and I did a slight uh, blue wash on the grey uh, just try to make it look you know try to make it look like uh, like this but I think this is much bluer so anyway this is how the final would look like
So I think <coughs> let me do some uh, size comparisons again with my other 144 scale uh, planes. So overall it's gonna look that big compared to the <clears throat> the C130 uh, Super Hercules, the C17 and the Kawasaki. So I think uh, this is like really, I think this is really big. Comparing uh, Hercules So The thing about this kit uh, As much as I anticipated this kit uh, Somehow the build wasn't as fun as I thought it was gonna be. I'm not sure what what was the reason. Uh, maybe because there was there were no small parts or you know it was just a uh, huge uh, parts for wings, fuselage, the missile base, engine, and for some reason I don't know I. I did not really enjoy this build as much as I thought I would. So that that's a strange uh, thing because I really anticipated uh, a lot on this kit because I like this uh, <clears throat> the shape of this uh, really unique uh, chronoplan. So I guess I think uh, this is gonna be it for the Lun class Ekronoplan 144 scale from Takom and for those uh, who are also building this kit uh, maybe you can let me know if you enjoyed it as much as other kits or or was it just me that I didn't really quite uh, enjoy as much as uh, some other kits? And it's actually quite heavy and it's difficult to move around because of the size. So anyway, I'm gonna call this complete and uh, I think uh, after this I will probably do some reviews of other kits and uh, start on it and hopefully my next build is gonna be I think it's gonna be a ship because I've built the Hercules uh, a B-52 and then this so that's like three planes in a row so I think I'll uh, I'll go back to the ship uh, for a change again. So until the next time, uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And also uh, thanks for those who are subscribing and uh, watching my videos. So I'm gonna bring more videos uh, on kids soon so until then uh take care and stay safe bye